Hi friends! Today I decided to show you some of my old and very old sketches. I didn't keep all of them, but I have a binder with most of my old stuff. And sometimes it's just really good for me to go through these, like when I don't feel particularly good about my own work. And it helps me see how much I've improved. So here's my binder with all my old sketches. That's just scribbles back from school. I started to get heavily into anime back then and um, it shows. <laughs> also I used to do quite a lot of kind of couple drawings and also tried myself at drawing nude people even though I didn't really have any idea about the human anatomy back then it seems um, giant eyes giant heads um, <laughs> tiny arms <laughs> I also tried to do some like more environmental sketches but they were very um, simple and you know not much detail to it Wings, girls with wings were a thing I used to draw a lot. Um, I think most of these old sketches are from around 2002-2003. Uh, the left one is a little bit off-center. I still had to learn a lot. <laughs> that one's just a copy. It was actually drawn on a much bigger sheet of paper. And I was really proud back then about it, like how much realism I put into this drawing. I mean, looking at it nowadays, it doesn't feel realistic to me at all. But back then, I thought for my abilities, it was the shit. And um, yeah, more big eyes and anime noses on the right. And also very thin and long girls. Looking at those, the anatomy is a little bit off, I guess. Yeah, on the right, a little sketch. <laughs> um, for a fan fiction I wrote back then. And oh yeah, on the left, that's um, that might be me. <laughs> kind of drew myself as an anime character there. I might not have been that skinny, but that's basically what I looked like back then. And on the right, more fan fiction character sketches. Um, I really like Ron and Harry, the looks on their faces. Oh yes, more anime style drawing. I've no idea why she's holding the sword that way. Like, who would touch a sword um, on its blade? But I, I don't know. I, I do like the hairstyle of the girl on the right, though. More anime girls, more really thin looking anime girls. And I noticed up there, I noted Evanescence. So that must have been around the time when I discovered Evanescence on MTV, which was a thing back then. On the right, another try at environmental sketches. Um, it's not bad, but I... It looks like I never actually finished it. I probably got bored of drawing all the, the black sky or something. <laughs> uh, more couple drawings. Uh, yeah, I think 
that was that was around the time when I really got into uh, corn. <laughs> Hence the funny beard. And more girls with wings. So um, that that was that was really. I always came back to that. I tried to do a lot of different stuff, but wings. I don't know why. Oh yeah, that that was me <laughs> having read through all of the Dragon Ball manga, all of them, like in a very short time period. I was. I really like those, and on the right. It's actually a photocopy as well. It's not the original sketch because I gave that as a gift to the friend that I portrayed there. Ah, uh, yes. On the left, that's um, something I, uh, I think I took it from the manga Vampire Mew, which I really liked back then. It's very teenage style edgy. <laughs> and on the right, I actually drew myself back then. Um, or try to. I think the eyes are still a little bit too big, but generally I didn't do a terrible job at it, considering I never really drew anything highly realistic. And you can tell that it was my sort of punk goth phase <laughs> from what I was drawing. And um, the sketch on the right actually ended up on a shirt. I was doing an internship back then and they got it printed for me as a gift. More wings. <laughs> um, I actually like the ones on the right. They turn out really nice. And more drawings of me. For the lack of an actual model I used myself to practice realistic drawing, I guess. Um, wasn't really that good at it, but it's it's not terrible. Um, also shows my different hairstyles back then. Those actually are from my art class. I remember that we had to draw still life with unrealistic colors and I quite enjoyed that actually. Um, another naked girl on the right. I think I, I vaguely remember drawing this in philosophy class actually. No idea why. Ah uh, yeah and that's my schoolgirl kind of phase. I don't know. I drew a lot of girls with schoolgirl outfits with a twist to it like Either them being like terribly sad or dangerous or something. Yes, kimonos was another important thing back then. More schoolgirl. That is actually something that I never finished. It was supposed to be like entirely like environmental, um, but sadly, you know, didn't have the patience. And based on the little short story in the back. The one on the right is actually one of, back then, was one of my absolute favorites that I ever did. I'm not entirely sure why, but she doesn't look terrible, I guess. Um, yeah, more people. It's just not that really interesting at that point. I drew a lot of people with no context. Yeah, mermaid on the right. She looks very skinny and the fish look very funny. Oh yeah, that, that was another um, portrait of a friend, but I never finished that. Um, unfortunately, because it was actually, I liked the photo that I used as a reference for this. Ah, that's when I tried myself at tattoo style drawings. Another Harry Potter fan fiction drawing with, uh, maybe you can tell, Snape in the foreground and a him quote at the bottom because that's, you know, not edgy at all. And yeah, here we are moving forward in time, I think. The one on the right is actually a few years later and that's when I 
already had finished school and um, did a big break in between where I did not really draw at all. And that's when I started again. And I really like some of that stuff. It's still very simple or simplistic. I do like the rabbit. <laughs> I don't know what I was intending to do there. But there we go with some sketches I did for the tabletop game I used to play for a few years with friends. Um, where I basically drew the animal familiars of the deities in the game. And that was one of the, uh, one, one of our heroes, he's a um, snow elf. And I really like that guy. He, he looks cool. I don't know why I never pursued the style any further because it kind of kind of looks cool to me. And here's another time jump that is actually from 2017, I think. Yeah, that was my first, the first Inktober that really got me back into sketching on actual paper again. Um, that was just you know, your regular, like, office pens, not actual ink or anything, not nothing expensive, and terrible paper as well, as you can see, the, the colors are fading and everything, and, um, yeah, that, that was my first go at the Inktober challenge, and I quickly noticed that it is not easy to come up with an idea every single day, um, some prompts were easy, some weren't. I quite like that one with the cat. That's cute. <laughs> and I think that that was actually one of the best things I ever came up with. It's so simple and so adorable. And, um... I do like um, that one as well, like I do like koi fish and that that's really nice. I was thinking of making a sticker design based on that, but maybe one day. The Squirrel King, actually not part of the Inktober thing, but I just kept drawing that day. I, I had a like a real good run, I guess. And the very first Inktober drawing ever of me, a cute Ghibli ghost. Um, here we have a little witch, just a pencil sketch. Um, do you like the design of that one? It took me ages to draw that though. Oh, and a little Prince fan art I did a while ago, I think also in 17, I don't know. Oh yeah, and that's one of the, the the one, the pumpkin cats, and a Hollow Knight fan art. And yeah, those actually, I th those are from two thousand nineteen drew those when I was at uh, my very first convention. I really like the, the, the good morning tea monkey. <laughs> that was me going through my old and very old sketches from up to 18 years ago. And um, there were some time jumps in between where I wasn't really in the right headspace to create anything. Um, I had a lot of stuff going on, and but I did pick it up later on, and that's where we are today. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and maybe even leave a nice comment. And if you have any questions, feedback, or video requests, you can leave them below as well. I also have a Patreon where you can support me for only three euros a month. That's three. Um, 
for early access, work in progress posts, sketches, um, all kinds of digital and even some physical rewards. I hope to see you again soon. And until then, I love you guys. Take care. <laughs>